documentary The Heart Dances, The Journey of the Piano, the Ballet, is being released 25 years after Jane Campion's film. It follows the story of two brothers brave enough to take on the challenge of bringing this ballet to life. And it's about to have its world premiere in Wellington as part of the New Zealand International Film Festival. Director Rebecca Tansey joins us now. Welcome. Good morning. So this is, hang on, this is a doco about the making of the ballet, which is about the film. Is that right? Yeah. Have I got it right? Yeah, it's inspired by the film, the how, piano. How did it all come about? Well, I was fortunate enough to get some inside information um, that the RNZB were planning this ballet um, around about a year ago, just over a year ago. And so uh, we approached the RNZB and asked if they'd be kind enough to let us make this documentary. And fortunately they said yes, and then we got all the other necessary permissions involved and set about making the film. A, a fascinating look behind the scenes of the Royal New Zealand Ballet, I thought. Well done on the doco. I loved it. Were you interested in ballet before you did this film? I've always been interested in arts, the arts generally, um, but I'm not a, you know, I'm not a super ballet expert or anything. Right. My, my daughter had studied ballet, so I sort of had an idea, you know, I've, I've done my time as a ballet mum. Um, but I thought there were lots of layers to the story that would make it really interesting and appealing to not just lovers of ballet. And the actual dance itself is not really classical ballet. It's much more modern and different and fluid. It's not people's, it won't meet everyone's idea of a classical ballet. Mm -hmm. well, what are some of those layers? Uh, well, there were, um, what first got me interested in the story mm. was the idea of, you know, this um, drawing on the, the film and the story, Jane Campion's film and story, The Piano, and that idea of adaptation. But then when I got into it, I saw that there were all these different layers. There are the relationships between the dancers that are really interesting and the way that they have to get into these quite difficult characters to get to know. There are the... Um, there was an interesting uh, cultural story with Eugene Otto working with a Māori advisor that had been appointed by the RNZB to help um, integrate the Māori elements of the production. So yeah. there was a lot happening. Because the thing about this is that it is these two uh, celebrated Czech dancers, Uji and, uh, and, and Otto. Is it Bubenicic? Am I getting that right? Yeah. Uh, they were the ones who wanted to turn the piano into the ballet, weren't yes, they? Yes, that's right. It was their idea originally, and they had actually produced a short version of the ballet in 2015 in Germany and then the RNZB invited them to come over to New Zealand and extend and re-originate the ballet here in New Zealand. So when uh, they them. initially did it they were overseas they didn't they weren't actually involved in New Zealand at all were they? They did come to New Zealand and do a research trip and but then coming back here was uh, for a five-week period was a much more intense uh, process working six days a week with the dancers. Yeah. And, you know, the, these two brothers from the Czech, they, they came here. Did they have to learn a lot about Māori culture? Because that was one of the things I found fascinating in your doco, was that relationship. Yeah, it was a really interesting um, dynamic. They, they did have to learn a lot. It was kind of like a crash course in um, Māori tanga for them. And um, I don't think they really had any frame of reference of working with indigenous culture before. Mm -hmm. And they really wanted to do the right thing. Mm. Um, but I just think sometimes it was difficult for them without having that experience before mm -hmm. of knowing what the right thing was. So it was a big learning journey for them. And it was a big learning journey for their hands. And they were there and with the cast yeah. the whole yes, way through. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, obviously yeah. the lead ca character, Ada, le lends herself to ballet because she's mute. But you were there yes. for the whole casting process as well. How was that? Yeah, it was fascinating, really. I mean, just, it was such a privilege to be in the studio every day, so close to all the action. You know, if we go and see dance, we're used to seeing it on a stage and watching it from the mm. seating in the theatre. But to be able to see it from all angles every day, up close, and hear the breathing and, and the, the pain <laughs> and the pain and see this, you know, all the hard work that goes into it, it was amazing. And so I'm hoping that we captured some of that. Well, no, you definitely did, and that's what I loved about it. Ballet necessarily isn't something I'm interested in, but just how complex putting on a show is and the relationship from our Czech friends and the New Zealand culture blending together, you captured it brilliantly. How did the actual ballet go? Because it's premiered already in New Zealand, hasn't yes, it? Yes, that's right. It premiered a season um, here earlier this year, and I think it was received really well. I had some really good reviews and people were interested in that um, 
the way that the Māori culture had been integrated mm. and represented. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm thinking that the RNZB, I'm hoping the RNZB will will bring it back again sometime. Excellent. The Good, because I want to see it now. Yeah. More interested in it now too. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Uh, Rebecca's film, The Heart Dancers, has its world premiere in Wellington on Saturday and then screens in Auckland, Christchurch, Dunedin, Nelson, Gore and Timaru. You can check out the New Zealand International Film Festival website for details and also the actual piano from the movie. The piano is used on set as well. Isn't that amazing, yeah. eh? Jeez, the film festival's been absolutely <laughs> rocking.